The x-coordinate typically represents the horizontal position in a two-dimensional space. It's often referred to as the width because it measures the distance from the left edge of the space to a specific point horizontally. In graphical applications, increasing the x-coordinate moves an object to the right, while decreasing it moves the object to the left. The y-coordinate represents the vertical position in a two-dimensional space. It's commonly referred to as the height because it measures the distance from the bottom edge of the space to a specific point vertically. In graphical applications, increasing the y-coordinate moves an object upward, while decreasing it moves the object downward. Together, the x and y coordinates define a point in a two-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system where the x-axis represents the horizontal dimension and the y-axis represents the vertical dimension. In programming, understanding and manipulating x and y coordinates is essential for tasks such as positioning objects on a screen, navigating game worlds, drawing shapes, and much more. We'll simulate coordinates using Lua variables target x, target y, current x, and current y. These variables represent points in a two-dimensional space, where target x and target y represent the target coordinates we want to find. Current x and current y represent the current coordinates being tested during our search. Here's what each variable signifies. Target x and target y, these variables define the coordinates of our target location. Target X represents the width from left to right, and target Y represents the height from bottom to top. They specify the exact point we want to locate in our search. Current X and current Y, these variables represent the current coordinates being tested in our search algorithm. We start our search from the initial coordinates, current X equals 12 and current Y equals 7, and then iteratively move through the space to find the target coordinates. By simulating coordinates with these variables, we can demonstrate how to implement a search algorithm to find a specific point in a two-dimensional space, which is a fundamental concept in programming and game development. Local found coordinates. This line declares a local variable and initializes it to false. This variable will be used to track whether the target coordinates have been found. By default, when the search begins, we assume that the coordinates haven't been found yet. Repeat. This keyword starts a repeat until loop, which will continue executing until a certain condition is met. In this case, the loop will repeat indefinitely until the condition is explicitly checked within the loop body. Current x assigned to current x plus 1. This line increments the value of the current x variable by 1. It moves the search along the x-axis, effectively exploring the space from left to right. Current y assigned to 7. Sets the value of current y back to 7 after each iteration of the outer loop. This ensures that the search resets to the initial y-coordinate for each new iteration along the x-axis. This allows us to traverse the space vertically, exploring different y-coordinates while iterating over the x-axis. These lines collectively represent a nested loop structure where the outer loop iterates over the x-axis, width, and the inner loop iterates over the y-axis, systematically exploring each point in the two-dimensional space until the target coordinates are found. The if statement checks if the current coordinates matches the target coordinates we are searching for. It compares the current vertical position with the desired vertical position and the current horizontal position with the desired horizontal position. If the current position matches the target coordinates, this line sets the variable found coordinates to true, indicating that the target coordinates have been found. The break keyword is used to exit the innermost loop immediately. In this context, when the target coordinates are found, we break out of the inner loop to stop further iterations. The end keyword closes the if block, indicating the end of the conditional statement.
until current y is greater or equal to target y. Until current x is greater or equal to target x. Or found coordinates. These lines control the loop's behavior, ensuring that it continues iterating until it meets one of the specified conditions, either the horizontal and vertical positions reach their respective target positions, or the target coordinates are found. If found coordinates then checks the value of the variable found coordinates. If it evaluates to true, it means that the target coordinates have been found during the search process. Else, if found coordinates is not true, meaning the target coordinates were not found, the code inside the else block is executed. In summary, these lines control the output message based on whether the target coordinates were found or not. If found, it prints the coordinates, and if not found, it informs the user that nothing was found. We learned about the target x and target y variables, which represent the coordinates we want to find, and the current x and current y variables, which are used to iterate through the map. By incrementing current x and current y within nested loops, we systematically searched through the map to find the target coordinates. The found coordinates variable was used to track whether the coordinates were found during the search process. Finally, based on the value of found coordinates, we provided appropriate output messages to inform the user whether the target coordinates were found or not. In this tutorial, we explored the concept of using nested loops to search for specific coordinates within a simulated map. By understanding and applying nested loops in this context, you've gained valuable experience in using iterative techniques to solve specific problems in Lua programming. With this understanding, you're now equipped to apply nested loops in various programming scenarios to efficiently solve problems that require systematic iteration through data or structures. Keep practicing and exploring, and you'll continue to enhance your Lua programming skills.